This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church. We are standing right now in the community of tradition um, under the gazebo. It is a master plan community that's located west of 95 in the city of Port St. Lucie. I should say Interstate 95 in the city of Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida. And today is Monday. September the 25th in the year 2022, and welcome to Faith and Fitness. We begin our, our time together every Monday morning with a devotion. So our devotion this morning is from Jesus Always, Sarah Young. I invite you to close your eyes, if you're able or as you're able, and hear these words. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. I'm going to read that one more time. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. At times, there will be someone who is determined to oppose you without good cause. In this case, I don't hold you accountable for the conflict. More often, however, you have contributed something to the dissension. When this happens, you should repent of your part in the conflict and do whatever you can to restore a peaceful relationship. In either situation, you need to forgive the person who offended you. You may also need to forgive yourself. Beloved, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Take time not only to think through what you want to say, but to listen to the other person. If you listen carefully and pause before responding, you will be much less likely to become angry. Whenever you have failed to live at peace with others and you are at fault, do not despair. I paid the penalty for all your sins so you could have permanent peace with me. I love this one. You can open your eyes now if you had them closed. I love this. Be, by the way, the, two things jumped out to me. The first one is, more often, however, you have contributed something to the dissension. Usually, it's, it's unusual for someone to just attack um, without your participation in that, in that um, conflict, let's say. But, yeah, it does happen. But I love this. Sometimes it is, it is unwarranted. But it's very funny. Moreover, right, you have contributed something to the dissension. And then I love the next part. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. We flip it the other way in this world, don't we? We are slow to listen and quick to speak. And when Jesus says, I'm turning the world upside down, here is where we hear the opposite. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. On this day, as you move forward, remember these words that were given. We have a God who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. So for us today, let's, let's live into the quick to listen and slow to speak. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord, we live in a world, I don't know, I, I think today we're especially feeling this um, separation of one from the other, this dissension, this um, uncalled for anger at each other that has been perpetrated, yes, perpetrated upon us by the powers of this world. I ask gracious Lord God, that you send your healing peace to us. Help us to open our ears and be quick to listen. Help us especially to hear the places where we need to give forgiveness. And then, gracious Lord God, let us be slow to speak. Loosen our tongue that we may be able to forgive the other 
and most importantly, to forgive ourselves as you have already forgiven the other and for have, have already forgiven us. So let us remember to be quick to listen, to be slow to speak, and in those two actions alone, it slows down the anger. May we continue to hold your son, Christ, not only clearly as the one who has redeemed us and saved us and united us back to you, but gracious Lord God, may we see Christ as the one in which we are to emulate for the sake of the other. Now we speak those words that your son, Jesus, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, as you journey through your day, however it is that you're able to move, please do so. Get some movement going in your body as you're able. And we'll see you back here next week. Blessings.